Hi, my name is Grégoire Berger. I'm the chef of Oceano in Atlantis de Paris. You know, I always love to wake up very early from different reasons. The first one will be uh, the peace. You know, we live in Dubai and the city is very vibrant. Sometimes you need to be you know, close to something a bit more genuine and, and peaceful. And uh, I love photography, so it's the best time to get great shots. There's not much people around, the light is warm, and uh, it's a good condition to creativity. It's a great place, especially here. And, uh, and this time is the best place to, to put yourself into a good mood for the day. Photography is about capturing an instant. Making food is bringing memory into to the mind of people. So through different channels, but mostly by the, the taste and can be the storytelling around. When you start learning photography, you, you can even get a better uh, chef and making even beautiful plating because your eye are made to beauty, you know? And uh, a plate, it's something that you see, that you can smell, that you can, of course, taste and feel. And that helps me a lot to get the right angle and the right perspective to, to give a, a better feeling for the guest experience. So I like to go on the fish market in Dubai very early morning for the vibe. The product of, of course are great, but most of the product we use here also are coming from all around the world. But I like, I like the harbour, because you remember me where, where I come from in Brittany, you know. It's quite the same feeling, especially you now with the weather. It's like, it bring, bring me back to, to where I come from, you know. As a chef, and most importantly as a French guy, uh, ingredients are the key for good cooking. Anyway, we cannot make good food without good products. Uh, in Dubai, we have different places, fishing arbors, we have farmers. A lot of people are trying to raise the region in terms of uh, quality ingredients. So our duty as a chef is to make sure we use those ingredients, we try to source them and try to transform them to give, to give an experience that can be similar to Europe or Japan or, or places like that. But this is our duty. Since I'm here six years in Dubai, I, I've been meeting a lot of different persons. And one of them is Massimo, the truffle man. He's a guy that is uh, specialized in truffle, caviar and different other products, but really fit to the region and understood the market here. And he's able also to provide us very good and fresh ingredients. We have him, he thinks like us, we think like him, and then we, we work together. Wow, that's nice. Come, chef. Amazing. Yes, yeah, these are right. Like, you're not the one you do the dish uh, mm -hmm. for the croque monsieur. chef. Now they're bigger, the maturity is perfect. But you told me you have a surprise for me today, right? Yes, I, ah, yeah, I want a surprise for you, yes. I have something because you're launching the menu. Yeah. And you want to do something with a big bang, I know you. But I think for you, this is better. What's that? <laughs> like 400 grams? Where this come from? It's Alba. Alba? Alba yeah. Piemonte. Right. All of them are come from Alba Piemonte. Mm. It's very rare to find one like this. Wow. <laughs> Good, I'm happy that you like it's it. It's amazing, amazing. I thought, I thought this is for you. So I had to call you and come and check it out. You know, Massimo, uh, you've been living in New York a long time, right? Yeah, 18 years, 18 years. And that's the funny thing, you know, I've been traveling all around the world, many years I'm in Dubai you now, and it's always great to see such quality of products. Uh, you've been following me in a lot of different events in Singapore, in France, in Saudi. And it's great to have this consistency. Yeah, the good thing is that from here in Dubai, I can get uh, fresh produce every day, Twice a week I'm getting now, sometimes three times a week. Mm. And different parts of Italy, direct flight, boom. I get now with the French one, I can I have either from Nice or from or from Paris directly. In eight hours I have the product here, it's perfect. Anything else? If you want, if also if you have some particular product that you think you want to have in Dubai, it's not around, let me know. It's an amazing product, thank you so much. Nice thanks for the idea of the caviar. Always great to see you. Super. <laughs> Guys, clean up! <laughs> <laughs> I've been lucky to fall on something that uh, deep inside satisfies me as a human, you know. And um, cooking is a way of creating experiences, you know. It's, I could even say that it's not even cooking that I enjoy the most. It's out of cooking, creating new things and new experiences for the guests. So the menu Metamorphosis, it's a menu that we don't even give ingredients. We don't give any explanation to the guests. We bring a poem, 11 lines. Nine lines or nine lines. You can choose your menu like that. And this menu has been written by me. I think it's the story of my life, you know. It's pain, it's happiness, it's, 
it's easy, easy time, it's difficult times. From the, the worm, the A, and the, the butterfly, really inspire me. The metamorphosis uh, reflects into the creation we do by, it's not only about the food, it's the idea that makes the food. This has to provoke an emotion. We try to bring a story into, 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 the, into the guest's experience, you know. So, for example, we have this clock that we call on our menu on the path to nostalgia. And the idea was, okay, how we can relate nostalgia to most of the world. And then while we were discussing about that, I just touched my watch and I realized, ah, you know what, we should play it on the watch, on the clock. And then you say, yeah, but the clock, the time should go backwards. And when I eat this dish, it's something that really brings me back to, to, to my childhood. But the funny fact I realized after is that this dish also can bring a lot of people into their own childhood. They speak their nationality because everybody understands I mean, cheese sandwich, you know? But when you bring the clock and the time is going like that and the dish is into it, we mix the story of the guest and my story and then it brings much more emotion. So the whole menu is into this way of thinking, basically. So for the guests tonight, they will experience our new pop-up Gregoire's Kitchen which is around, of course, emotions, but uh, it's, about, it's about also all the creation that we, we can do in the kitchen. And uh, they will experience many different dishes in the shape of a tapas. Most of them eatable by hands, so you will see it's very fun. But also, I'm going to show you uh, some of the classic dishes that we've been doing uh, over the past years uh, that are really building our identity and our philosophy uh, into the metamorphosis uh, team. The service is very important because they are not waiters, they are storytellers. So what I recommend is when you take a bit of foie gras, cut through the brioche, enjoy it together to really get the full experience of this dish. So Dubai is very specific uh, in terms of food offering and in terms of chef. Being a test maker in Dubai, it's not being a test maker in New York or in Paris or, or somewhere else in the world, you know. Uh, here you need to understand how people think. And it's not because you come from the most famous restaurant in Europe that uh, you will succeed here. Because the things are going very fast in Dubai. You open, you close, another restaurant open, people go, they don't go anymore, they go somewhere else, you know what I mean? So, and I realized that the most important things at the end of the day is genuineness. If you're not genuine, you will not make it, you know. If you're true into what you are doing, to what you are providing, people will come back and, and uh, you're going to build your legacy, legacy out of it. Uh, we're very happy to have you. I hope you like this, uh, this feeling of home that we try to put in the celebration coming up into winter. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A very good day for me is when the guests understand what we try to do. The feedback of somebody who understands, wow, that's an experience. That's, we get those emotions. Somebody crying, somebody uh, laughing when the crowd is into a kind of euphoria. The thing that is very particular in Dubai is that there is a mix of 200 plus nationalities, which means that their expectations are not, are not necessarily my expectation uh, as a French. They are looking for something different. Without compromising yourself, you need to, to, to create an experience that will touch most of the people, you know. And uh, to make sure that in the future we will be as successful as those cities, we need chefs that are staying long time and building their own philosophy and get accepted and making sure that at the end of the day, like, it became part of the city. But I really wish that a new type of food would emerge from, from the city. And this is what we try to do at the end of the day. Is like, my aim is to not create a restaurant, is to create an experience. And I think that the world we have the most in this restaurant, from the guests, it's, ah, it's an experience. And this is what we are looking for.